crossfade. Jarek joins Celia's scene. Your Highness, Prince Jarek, I am Princess Anidori Calidor Taliana Isoli. I am honored to be part of joining our two kingdoms in peace. Crossfade. Light is indicated a season change to winter in Annie's scene. Jarek returns with a book. I brought another book for you. Oh, thank you so much! I've missed you. Crossfade. The king is gone. Celia and Ungalad are kissing. Jarek is in limbo between scenes. Oh, Ungalad, I'm so tired of pretending to be in love with that tiresome prince. All I want is you. And we must implement our plan against Kildenry soon. We must start a war so they never find out what we've done. If there is a war, there is no way that awful queen can send one of her daughters to visit Annie. I know, my love. I have set things in motion. Crossfade. Annie's scene has changed from winter to spring. Jarek re-enters Annie's scene, troubled, and is shocked when he sees Annie's long, blonde hair, which she has previously kept hidden, blowing in the wind. Jarek! What is this? I thought we could trust each other. You told me you were from Baird. You even have the right accent, but your hair looks like the other yellow people from Kildenry. And you have far too great of an education for a goose girl. If I tell you a secret, can you promise to tell no one? Jarek nods his assent. I am the real Princess Anadori. Jarek looks shocked and angry, exits immediately to stage right. Jarek, wait! Let me finish! Fade to black. Scene 4. The next day, Annie goes to the palace to petition the king. He sits center stage on a throne with a large tapestry in the background. Annie steps forward. Your Highness, I am Princess Anadori Caladra Taliana Isoli. I am the true crown princess of Kil- I am the true- mm. I am the true crown princess of Kildrenry. And I have come to tell you this so your son doesn't marry the imposter, my maid, who is pretending to be me. I can no longer live with this secret. It has cost me too much already. Sadly, she thinks of Jarek. Jarek enters with Celia on his arm, followed by Ungalad and other soldiers. There she is! That is the girl I was telling you about, the one who was claiming to be you! Oh, Jarek! I told you about my distraught maid and how she wanted to be me! Jarek? You're the prince? Enough of your lies and tricks! We will leave this liar alone with our countrymen to settle this. No, please! They'll kill me like they did all my loyal soldiers, Jarek! But the king and Jarek have already exited stage right. Well, Annie, I'm surprised you were brave enough to come here at all. I was actually hoping you died in the forest, but you're stronger than I thought, and here you are. This actually makes things better for us, so now we can know for certain that you won't be running around telling stories and causing trouble. And we'll be able to have our war, so your mother and Kildenry never find out what I've done. Ungalad, take care of her! Ungalad pulls out a knife, begins to approach. Jarek and the king burst from behind tapestry. We heard everything! Celia, I knew you were too horrible of a person to be the real princess. A battle ensues, and Annie's side wins. Annie reaching out to shake hands, and Jarek, <coughs> while Jarek wipes his brow. That was he. Hello, I'm Annie, Crown Princess of Kildenry. Hello, Jarek, Crown Prince of Bairn. Nice to meet you. The real you, that is. They embrace, and Annie smiles up at him. I look forward to ruling with you. End scene.